Hey guys, this is your friend Mainav from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tekla structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to insert longitudinal bars in columns in the Tekla structures software. So before starting, let's create uh, levels, we'll modify the levels and we'll make the column footing and then we'll make our columns. So we want the Z coordinate as let's say uh, 0, then our say the plinth level is 1200 and we have then a level of let's say 1200 plus 3000 that is 3 meters 4200 and we'll make this levels change also let's do it like plus 1200 and these are the names so we'll just change them plus 4200 and then we'll click on modify so after that we'll just uh, take a particular go to concrete and we'll take a footing pad footing so we'll take a footing at the center and uh, we can modify the properties of the footing as per our preference we'll just select the footing And after you select the footing, uh, we can open the properties box. We can change the properties of this footing. Let's go with 1000 into 1000 footing. The grade of concrete, let us do it as M20. And then the depth of the footing, let's uh, do the top as our, we'll do the bottom as zero because we want all the footings base to be at the same level and the top let's do it as our 300 so we have a 300 mm depth footing and we'll just click on modify so we have changed the footing as per our preference and after that what we can do is we can insert our columns so to insert our columns let's uh, go to the top view we can go to windows we can select view list and we can open the grid 2 or grid B so before you know just being able to see the grids we need to click here and then right click and then uh, we can have the option of create grids along view so we'll go to here and along grid lines and then create after that we'll click on ok and then we'll create or open the grid So grid 2 have been opened. This is the uh, elevation view. We can also go with the plan plus uh, 0 view. We can open that. And we can close this. And we can select the option of uh, tile vertically. So let's just go to this one. And we'll go to columns. And we'll define the properties of the columns first. So the top bottom level will be uh, let's say 300 because 300 is the depth of the footing and the top level will be our 4200 and we'll have a size of let's say 215 to 250 and we'll assign it here don't want to expand this you can see in other views so as you can see the column has been ready so if you want a like a different spacing up to the particular uh, plinth level and a different spacing for your next level so you can just uh, press ctrl plus uh, z here and uh, you can go to columns again the properties are the same to so the top level you make it as let's say 1200 and you insert the column here up to the 1200 and again you take the bottom as 1200 and the top as 4200 so we'll click at the center now you have the column in two different parts so uh, first of all we can uh, simply insert uh, the footing reparts for that we can uh, go to our particular rebar then we can use the option of uh, rebar group and after that let's select a particular grade and diameter of the rebars 
let's go with fe500 and uh, uh, 10mm bars fe500 main bars and ok and the bending radius will be taken automatically and uh, let's give a cover of 75 mm since we're going for the footing you can select a cover of 75 mm and from here also start and end also we can go with the 75 mm and uh, bars distribution we will equal distribution by target spacing value let's do the spacing value as 150 and now we can just select the shape of the bar so we are along the grid to uh, grid 2 so first of all we select the part as you can see uh, see it will pick the part to reinforce pick the part part has been picked now select here 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 and then press the mouse middle wheel button so after that it's asking to take the range to reinforce so we'll indicate the range so it has been done and after that what we can do is uh, we can uh, create or open another grid view let's close this we don't need this right now so we'll open go to the view list and open let's say our see we have the grids 2 already open let's open the grid B and this is this one we'll open the grid B and then in the grid B uh, let's do our thing we'll go to bar group again and all the properties are already defined so we don't need to change them we'll just select this part to reinforce shape two three four mouse middle wheel, wheel button and then you know, indicate here the range this time we'll go for this to this so this is done but as you can see this is overlapping so how to you know just fix this so we'll select this and uh, since this cover is uh, 75 so if we can do this as 85 because this 10 mm bar because we want it don't want this two to overlap if you can do this let's try so as you can see in the 3d view the overlap is now prevented it's properly in its place as per actual structural drawings which we see so we are good with this now we can go for the reinforcement of our columns so for the reinforcement of our columns let's uh, we can use this particular grid view to reinforce our columns so we'll go to our rebar set and we'll select create crossing rebars and uh, here also we can just simply change the diameter of the bars we'll go to fe500 let's select 8 mm and then we'll just click on ok and then we can simply let's assign our rebars and then we'll click the mouse middle, middle wheel button so as you can see the rebars have been uh, placed here and here also let's place the rebar but uh, here let's zoom in and then place the rebar mouse middle wheel button so as you can see the rebars that is the ties have been placed so after the plinth level let's keep our equal spacing of uh, let's select this and you can, you can see the spacing between the bars you can observe after clicking on the rebars and here you can see the spacing which has been provided spacing zone 1 as you can see so spacing of 200 mm has been provided let's give it a spacing of 150 mm since it's a short distance now if you want a different spacing for this we'll just select on this and here we'll just click on edit spacing properties and after clicking on edit spacing properties we may just click on here and after that again on here so we have three spacing zones now we can uh, define the range of the three spacing zones 
so let's uh, keep the zone one as 30 percent with a target spacing of 125 mm and we'll give the zone two of 40 percent and 40 percent uh, length and then the target spacing of let's say 175 mm and then we'll keep the third zone same as our zone one that is 30 125 so after having done that we'll just click on modify so as you can see we have different spacings at the start and in the center so if you want you can also change the start and end offset also so now if you just uh, click on this this particular 3d view and if you can do its control plus one you can see and zoom in that this ties are like this so if you want to modify this properties you can just select on this ties you can select the end detail and you can let's click uh, you can just make this hook type into standard 135 degrees hook and after that you can select this end and this end similarly you can click on escape and select this ones and you can go to the end detail and then you can select this particular end this particular end so up to this part we have completed how to reinforce a footing and your ties in our columns so in the next part we'll see how to reinforce the longitudinal bars in our columns so till then stay tuned to our channel and if you want to gain from our experience and get trained from us you can contact using the number which has been given below bye bye